Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it seems that you guys really enjoyed the Maya 2022 um, intro video. So in today's video, we're gonna do a first uh, dive in towards one of the new features called uh, Sweet Mesh. And I like to call it Sweet Mesh because it is so, so cool. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple curve. We're going to go up to uh, create. We're going to go to curve tool, CV curve tool. And I'm just going to make something random here. Yeah, something like this. We're going to hit enter. And as per usual, once you have created your curve, you can right click, go to control vertex, and you can take one of these points, hit W, move them around if you want, like so. You get the idea, yeah? Okay. Now, if you are working on something like a car and you want to add trim to the car, what you can do is you can uh, select the car and then use the make live tool and that will allow you to put this curve straight on the body of the car, right? Because as of now, uh, it will only go flat onto the grid and you have to manipulate it manually. So make sure you check out that make a live tool. I did a video on that. I'll put a link below. Okay. So we got our curve. I'm happy with the position here. So we're gonna to go to object mode. We're gonna make sure it's selected. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to create. We're gonna to go to sweep mesh and boom, there you go. Now what it does is it opens up the attribute editor. Now, let me tell you first that if you don't see this in your menu up here, what you need to do is go up to windows, go to settings preferences, plugin manager, type in sweep, and here is sweep.mll. Make sure you have loaded, clicked, and auto load. If not, it won't show up, okay? All right, so we got this, this is the default. It turned our curve into the sky. Now, if we start at the top here, you see that we have a polygonal object right now, which is this guy, and it has a number of sides. But if we go in, yeah, we can also select a rectangular one. And as soon as we do that, you see that our curve turns into a rectangular pipe. Cool, right? And from there, you can go to line, which will make, uh, basically create something like a ribbon. You can go into an arc, which will kind of create a semi um, sphere, I would say. And this is really cool if you want to, uh, for example, do card trim. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. If we go to three segments right here, you would have something like this. And if you want it to be more like a V shape, you could set it to two like that. You get the idea. Yeah. And then you can change the angle as well. And that would be the angle of the individual sections. And hopefully you can see that. Okay. So if you don't want it to be that steep, you just change that angle. If you want it to be very steep, you change it again. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to, I don't know, five segments. Okay. Now we got one of these guys going on here. We've got a couple of more. We've got a wave. The wave is very cool if you want to do, for example, trim on cars or crown molding. And um, the cool thing here is this shape right here, this curve like that, you can change that. So you can go in here and you can change that amplitude, right? And as you do that, you'll see that it's going from completely flat to, yeah, kind of like an S shape, right? Uh, you can change the number of cycles. Right now there's one cycle in that wave. You can uh, decrease or increase if you want more, as you can see, right? And it's, you know, very detailed and you got a lot of control here. So especially when you're working on cars, this is really cool. You can change the offset. The offset will kind of show, you know, where you want this to be, uh, where you want it to have an effect, right? And then of course you have the segments. Now, because of the uh, current setup right now, now I got a whole lot, as you can see. If I go back to, let's say four, you get the idea, yeah? Okay. All right, what else? Distribution. Okay, so distribution allows you to uh, multiply your object here. Now, when would that make sense? For example, if you're making a rope, right? So we're gonna go back to the poly 
model, which will give us this guy. And we right now have eight sections, so let's set it to 10. And by the way, if you want this to be a star shape, you can do that as well. You'll get something like that, but we'll go back to circle for now. Set it to 10, you can have end caps if you want, like so. I'm not gonna do that right now. So with that said, we're gonna click on distribute. And when we do that, we get multiple um, displays of our option. And with multiple, in this case, I mean five. We can go to three, you get the idea. Let's go to, I don't know, 12. Overlapping in this case, back to four. All right, now because I wanna do a rope, let's do five. And then what you can do is you can scale them. So you can make them bigger or smaller, depending on what you want, right? You can rotate the individual instances, and this is not twisting them. This is rotating them individually, right? That's not really what we want. And then we have coverage here. That is kind of the coverage of the distribution circle, if you will. If you put it all the way back, they're all on top of each other. So that wouldn't make sense, yeah? So leave that at one. Alignment, uh, I'm probably not gonna use that much. Alignment uh, is basically the position compared to the original curve. And you can, for example, jump to the left and it will jump over, jump to the right, it will jump back, center. I'm just gonna turn that off, yeah? Uh, okay, so transformation related to the skill profile, uh, which is making them bigger and smaller. We looked at that, yeah. <clears throat> yeah rotate the profile. Now. You can see that they're rotating, but they're not twisting, yeah? Here is where you got the twists. That's where it becomes interesting. Now, in order for this to look a little bit more like a rope, we need to scale it up a little bit. Now, in order for uh, this to look a little bit more like a rope, we need to uh, scale the individual instances. So make them a bit thicker like that, right? And now it's starting to look like a rope, yeah? And then you can go in here and you can twist more or less, depending on what you want. And the cool thing is you can also go into a taper. Now to display that correctly, what I want to do is turn on distribute. So we only have one. Yeah. Then we're going to go to the taper curve. So right here, I can grab this corner. And as I push this down, right, you'll see that it's starting to taper. So it's making a one end nice and thin and the other end much thicker, yeah? And here you got an enhanced view of it and you can change the interpolation if you want. You can go to uh, smooth like this and you kind of have an S curve. You can go in here to linear, which is a straight line, uh, spline if you want, all that kind of cool stuff, yeah? Let's just leave it there. All right, so you can change the value, obviously, with the slider, you can also just drag it down. You can change the position and the interpolation, what we showed just here, yeah? Okay, a couple more things going on here. Um, looking at the normals, you can have a, a smoothing uh, value for the normals, and you can also reverse that if you like. Uh, so now it's inside out, right? Um, if that's something you need, you know, if, if you just, uh, if this, let's say, is an inner pipe and you're only going to see the inside, then you want to see the Lambert, so the textured Lambert on the inside, right? And then you would just go in and hit reverse, just so you know, yeah? So this should help you to get started. Um, I might do a more advanced tutorial in the future, uh, but for now, I need to play with it myself to get more in tune with all the possibilities. Like I said, um, it's really cool to create cables and wires and such, but there are many, more, many, many more applications, especially in interiors. If you are doing ceiling, like crown molding, that kind of stuff, really neat, really fast. And make sure you try this while using the make live function. That will make your life so much easier. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments and see you guys next time. Bye.